Wow, what are these incredible butterflies I just encountered in Brazil and what are they doing? Today I have a short video to address this because this is interesting to talk about. These are zebra mosaic butterflies, also known as Colobura dirse. And believe it or not, these butterflies found a damaged tree that's bleeding and they're having dinner. Tree sap contains a lot of sugars and butterflies can commonly be attracted to damaged or bleeding trees to suck up that delicious sap. Today I'm in a natural reserve in Brazil. It's called Regua, Reserva Ecologica de Guapiatsu, where I am observing butterflies as an entomologist. Let's start the intro. Okay, wow, I was just strolling through the forest, ladies and gentlemen. And behind me, I see something that's really cool. A group of zebra butterflies that appear to be feeding together on tree sap. Let me show you. Sap from trees is a food source for adult butterflies. Many butterflies adore the sweet taste of sap dripping from the trees. However, butterflies can only eat tree sap after other insects or animals bite through the bark or if a storm happens to damage the tree. The next time you are walking in a wooded area, look closely at the tree bark. You may be pleasantly surprised to find your favorite butterfly having a sweet treat. Tree sap also contains nutrients like amino acids, salts and minerals that are harder to find in nectar. <clears throat> now this particular butterfly species is found on tree sap more often than any other species because they are more or less always settling on the bark of trees. The species here in question is Colobura dirse and they have many names including the zebra mosaic, the zebra butterfly or the dirse beauty or the mosaic butterfly. Colobura dirse is distributed from Mexico all the way to Argentina. Now please think about it for a second. Mexico to Argentina is a huge distribution. It pretty much covers all of the tropical American places and they're even found in parts of the Caribbean. And I quote from one source, the butterflies habitually sit on tree trunks in a head downwards posture at a height of about two meters above the ground to imbibe sap and moisture from crevices in the bark. If approached, sometimes they try to evade the intruder by running around to the opposite side of the tree and if followed will run back to their original position, quite literally forcing the observer to run around in circles after them. They are extremely reluctant to take flight when feeding and if they are forced to do this, they quickly return to resume feeding. Although to be honest, no source is necessary to confirm all of this because we are observing it right now with our own eyes today. The butterfly breeds primarily in secondary and primary forest at altitudes between 0 to 1400 meter above sea level, but is more found more frequently at altitudes below, 100, below 800 meters in altitude. The host plant of this butterfly is Cacoopia, which is a common tree in the rainforest. Why this tree was damaged and bleeding is hard to say. Maybe a storm broke off some of the branches. Interestingly, it seems that ants are keeping the wound open by gnawing on the tree bark. Perhaps they have an interest in keeping the sap flowing. If you look closely, you also see a millipede that's eating the sap. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? One of the things butterflies do go crazy for is tree sap. Of course, most people know that nectar and rotting fruits are a source of food, but damaged and bleeding trees. Uh, well, sap of trees often also contains a lot of sugar, so it's nutritious for the butterflies. This was a short commentary on the zebra mosaic butterfly, Colobura dirse. Hope to see you my next time on my next video. I have over 1400 videos on my channel of butterflies and moths that you can watch. If you like my work, consider sponsoring me on Patreon or donating via PayPal. I'm sorry for fundraising, I don't like asking strangers for money, but my channel is demonetized by YouTube and this channel becomes very hard to, uh, to run financially if I don't do a little bit of crowdfunding. It pays for my free time 
And in fact, it's the fundraising that paid for my flight tickets to Brazil. This video would not exist without donations. Just throwing it out there. Sorry. Bye bye, I hope to see you next time and I hope you enjoyed these beautiful zebra butterflies. Find the regular playlist on my channel for more of my adventures in Brazil and the animals I encountered there.